Now, when I go for this Americana shoulder lock, I've got the same potential problem that I had when he was in side control, and that is him rolling underneath and getting his hands together. Ideally, my pin on his body, my control on his body is enough to prevent that from happening in the first place. Go ahead, yeah, right? But it doesn't always work that way. Sometimes they're able to make space and get their hands together. Go ahead. Now, once I do that, I'm gonna need to take a lot of strength to pull that off. If he can really keep it tucked to his body, T-Rex style, right? Now that I'm gonna fight, I'm not in the best spot. At that point, it's time to abandon. So, just like I like to use this to set up this, sometimes I like to use this to set up this. Now, this is the basic mounted arm bar. The idea is arm straight. Got the inside of my thigh on the back of his elbow. I'm hyperextending his elbow like so by lifting my hips. Now, naturally, normally you're coming across, face across, keeping pinch control here. Transitioning, sitting down beside them like so. That works just great, but it works even better if they think something else is happening. Specific. Arm stay straight. Keep him on his side. Keep my weight on them. Turn to the side. If you fall forward, that's fine. It's no different. Sit my butt right behind the shoulders, still controlling the wrist, and my knees pinched. It's very important that your knees pinch together. My feet are controlling his far arm. Make sure he doesn't get his hands together. Wrist goes down, hips go up. Now, notice the direction of the pinky. You always want to bar in the direction of the pinky. If the pinky's down, you want to bar straight down. If the pinky turns, you want to bar that way. I like to turn the pinky slightly, so I don't drop it right on my crotch. Instead, it goes to the inside of my thigh. I get an earlier bar, and if necessary, I can lift my hips to apply extra pressure. 